So we are really excited to have you all today to give you a sneak peek of Zoom Catalog and show you how you can utilize our free tools that we've built for promotional product distributors. We have 30 minutes for this session, so I'm going to move fairly quickly, but if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one or a more in-depth look, feel free to reach out to us. Our support team is amazing. You can go to zoomcatalog.com and reach out to us there or shoot us an email at hello at zoomcatalog.com. All right, so just a little background. We've been in the industry since 2009. Initially, the company was built actually by my mother, who was a promotional product distributor. She had a wonderful business for many, many years, and I grew up filing her print catalogs. We recognized that there was actually a really big problem when it came to those catalogs. During that time, that is really how suppliers got their catalogs and their product to distributors. So as distributors, if you were around then, you probably remember the days of getting thousands of print catalogs and trying to sort them into uh, filing cabinets or some kind of order, and then using that to reference to find ideas. And then you would need to get those catalogs to your customers. I think many of you probably still get quite a few print catalogs, but times have changed and we kind of believe that we helped with that initiative. So what we wanted to do was build an online library where suppliers could make their catalogs available for distributors and create one place for distributors to go where they can search, find, and share all this content online. So in 2009, we dove in and we started Zoom Catalog. The tools became immediately successful because it was meeting such a huge need. Um, suppliers were investing so much money on print catalogs and really had no idea how they were performing. They couldn't measure the results and they didn't really know if it was an in effective investment with their money. For distributors, it was of course a huge benefit because now you could find products, share them with customers and close those sales much quicker than you could have trying to get that print catalog from the supplier and then to your customer. So that was the initial start of Zoom Catalog and the search engine is available today. We'll show you that in a moment, but we've evolved and we have quite a few other tools that are also available to you as distributors. Everything I'm gonna show you today is completely free for you to use. So you can get started immediately after this call. And there really is no catch. Suppliers do invest with us to get their content out there. And therefore we can make these tools available for distributors at no cost. So as mentioned, you're gonna to go to zoomcatalog.com to get started. And the first tool I wanna to show you is the search engine. You can now find all of the suppliers catalogs online and do many things with them. So let's look at the search engine first. You'll go to the search bar and you'll type in your keyword, product ID, product name, supplier name, whatever you're looking for here. So I'm gonna type in stainless tumbler. And Zoom Catalog is going to find every page in every supplier catalog that has that specific item on it. So as you can see, this is a lot faster than going to your filing cabinet and trying to find all the tumblers in there. And it's a really nice visual way of viewing what suppliers have to offer. We often get asked how Zoom Catalog is different from Sage and um, ASI and the other search engines out there. And the core difference is that our search results are based on the catalog pages. So it's a very visual way of seeing the search results. And oftentimes you're going to see products displayed with similar items or with lifestyle shots so you can get a really great idea of what those items look like. Rather than individual product thumbnails, you're gonna be seeing the product pages. Now, when you get to the search results, you'll notice on the left-hand side, you get a list of suppliers that are carrying what you searched for. So you can um, filter down the results if you need to, if you just wanted to see what specific suppliers have to offer. Then in the middle, you'll see the results. So you'll see the catalog, uh, catalog cover, the catalog name, and then every page within that catalog that has that specific item on it. So you can start browsing here and seeing what's out there. And once you find something that you're interested in, you can click to open up that page. So now it's taking me to that product inside of right now the Suita catalog. This is a replica of the experience of having that print catalog open on your desk. What that means is you can browse the catalog backwards and forwards to see what other products are available and what other pages are in here. 
but you also get a number of other tools that we have in our digital catalogs that you wouldn't otherwise have access to in a print catalog. So with every single Zoom catalog, you're going to find a menu on the right hand side. We've worked really hard to make sure that these tools are really useful and relevant for our industry and for distributors. And so we've taken out some of the options and refined it so that exactly what you need is here. Now, most of them are fairly self-explanatory. So to keep this short, I'm not gonna explain every single one, but just to highlight a couple, we have the snipping tool, which is a distributor favorite. This means you can cut images out of the catalogs. This is great if you're looking for lifestyle shots um, for presentations, or if you want images for your website, and especially great for social media. Suppliers put all of their great photography in their catalog, so it is a wonderful resource if you're looking for that type of imagery. So you can see I click on the snipping tool, and I simply have to put this box around the area of the page that I'd like to cut out. Sorry, I right to click, let me do that again. Put it around the area you'd like to cut out. And once you have that selected, you'll hit clip, and then you have the image. So you can go ahead and save that to your computer, or you can email the clip right from here. So you can send it to yourself, a colleague, or a customer. And another cool thing is that you can choose to include a hyperlink back to that catalog. So if you do not select this, whoever gets your email is going to see this beautiful image right in their inbox with your message. If you do select it, in addition to that, there's gonna be a link to view the product in the catalog. What that means is if they click that link, it's going to take them to this page right here so they can view the item and read about it. But you've sent them the whole catalog so they can continue browsing and possibly finding some other items they may be interested in. Now, another way to share these catalogs and actually the most popular way to share catalogs is just by copying and pasting the catalog link into an email or onto social or wherever you're sharing it. And whoever clicks on it, will come to the exact page you were looking at when you copied that link. So you can see at the end of the URL here, it says page 49. That's because I'm on page 49. What this means is you can share products with customers this way and do your job of making the recommendations, but you're putting more products in front of them. They can browse the catalog and likely find other items that will work for them. So it's a great way to uh, be specific, but also um, offer them options and allow them to browse. In the side menu, we have some other options. You can search within the catalog. So when I did my search over here on zoomcatalog.com, I'm searching across all the catalogs in the entire industry. But if I want to search just Suida, I can jump into their catalog and search here. We have a table of contents. Um, you can download, which is another nice feature. So you can download an entire catalog or specific pages or ranges of pages. So if you needed these for offline use, or if you wanted to open them up in Illustrator to pull them apart for whatever reason, you can come in here and get what you need. And then we have some sharing options. A lot of our distributors absolutely love using Zoom catalogs in their social media uh, campaigns. And we can touch on that a little bit more when we look at the next tool called Zoom Custom but I will explain how you can use catalogs to build out campaigns and share them with your customers through social email, your website, and so forth. So as mentioned, every Zoom catalog is the same. Once you use one, you'll be familiar with them all. And the really nice thing about this is that if you start to link them onto your website or share them with your customers, it's going to be a consistent experience for them as well. So let's go back to the top of the search engine. As you can see, I can execute any other searches I want. I could also be a little bit more broad and search for a category or a theme, which is going to help me generate ideas. I know that a lot of you probably spend a lot of time brainstorming and exploring products that will be a great fit for your customers' campaigns or their needs. So if you use Zoom Catalog, you can start to see what's out there. So if I search beach, I can come here and see all sorts of beach towels, beach bags, beach toys and balls. So definitely a nice way to generate ideas too. We've had people come to us and say, it's more like an idea search engine for them. They come in here to explore what's available out there in the industry. We also have the supplier search. So if you knew that you needed to send the Sandmar catalog to your customer or the PCNA catalog to your customer, you don't need to go to your filing cabinet, jump onto Zoom and you'll type in their name. So we'll type in PCNA. 
and you'll be able to jump directly to that specific supplier's catalogs. Now, the really cool thing about this is over the years, suppliers have started rethinking their catalog strategies, which I'm sure many of you have noticed. Our industry is shifting away from that full line catalog and are focusing more on se uh, seasonal catalogs, breakout catalogs, more categorical catalogs that can be really awesome, again, for your marketing campaigns, but also sharing with your customers. For example, we all are very familiar with the Alpha Broder brick, as they call it, their catalog. They don't print it anymore, but the huge catalog. Now what they've done is they've broken it down into more targeted pieces, and that can be really nice for your customers so they're not overwhelmed with thousands of products, but instead you can send them the section that is relevant to them. So for example, with PCNA, they have different breakouts for their brands, and then they also have like their gift catalog. Um, they have their eco products catalog and journal books, et cetera. So you can pick exactly what's going to be targeted for your customer, which means the likelihood of the products in that catalog being relevant to them is higher. So come in here and check out what suppliers are doing. There's tons of great catalogs. There's probably catalogs in here that you had no idea existed that would be really awesome for you to start sharing with your customers. And of course you can find them all on Zoom. A couple of other things I want to mention with the search engine, we do have a few tabs here that are constantly changing and updating. So we just recently switched over from our holiday catalog section to our spring summer catalog section. So these are going to be catalogs that are relevant to the season. The holiday catalogs are extremely popular, but these spring summer ones are also really awesome for this time of year. And um, they're starting to trickle in now, so you can probably come back here every day and see new content. And then we also have video enabled catalogs, which is also very exciting. Suppliers are starting to put their videos in their catalog pages, which means your customers can watch videos about the items that they're looking at. It just makes the catalogs more interactive and makes the buying experience a little bit more fun. So if you want to find video enabled catalogs, jump over to this tab. You'll be able to go into the catalog and then watch videos of these items. You can also take those videos and share them and use them however you need as well. And the last thing I want to point out with the search engine is if you go over to view all something I really like doing is sorting by latest. This is going to show you the newest catalogs that have been uh, uploaded to zoom and this is just going to help you stay up to date with what's out there and what's available. So if you are looking to create a new social media post, you could come here sort by latest and find a new catalog that was just released and build out that post using that uh, catalog. So the search engine is completely free for you all to use. You don't even need to log into Zoom catalog. The catalogs are user end user friendly. So a replica of what you would usually get in the mail. So the pricing is coded or not in there at all. And so you can go ahead and share these with your customers confidently. We have a lot of distributors that take these catalogs and link them onto their website. And if this is something you're interested in doing uh, but need a little help, let us know. Otherwise, you can grab the links or the embed codes and do it yourself. We also have a tool called Build a Search. This is a tool that will allow you to unplug our entire catalog search engine into a page on your website. The really cool thing about this is that anytime a supplier adds or updates, adds, updates or removes a catalog, your website is going to immediately reflect those changes. So you do not need to come back and edit your website at any time our plugin will make sure that is happening for you. We also have an upgrade on this if you'd like to select your suppliers. So if there's only certain suppliers you work with, or if you wanted to build a search with only apparel suppliers or something like that, um, you can absolutely do that as well. So if you're interested in this, check it out on our site, or if you need help adding to your website, reach out, we can do it for you. It's compatible with all websites, so we can get you uh, the search engine on your Sage site. Uh, the ASI sites, WordPress, whatever it is that you have. So after we launched our search engine and we started getting distributors using this on a daily basis, we started to hear a similar request from many different distributors. And that request was that they wanted to share these catalogs, but they preferred that their logo and information showed on the catalog instead of the supplier. So what we did was we launched what we call Zoom Custom. 
With this, you can go ahead and put your branding and your information on white label versions of all of these supplier catalogs. So when you share the catalogs with your customer, your contact information will be permanently adhered to them and your logo will be on the cover. So it will actually appear that you designed that catalog, which gives it, makes it a really great resource for your campaigns. So to use Zoom Custom, you'll need to sign up for an account with us. Again, it's free, but by signing up, we can save your logo and we can save your catalogs as you create them. So you can come back here and edit them whenever you need. So I'm on Zoom Custom right now, and I'm going to start by finding a catalog I want to make my own. So very similar to the search engine, you can search by keyword, you can browse, you can sort by latest. You can also sort by supplier. So if you were like, I really need to customize the Sanmar catalog, you can jump in and do that, which is what I'm gonna do right now for this demo. So I'm gonna go to Sanmar and I'm going to find the catalog I'd like to customize. Just give it a second here. So I'm gonna do their spring arrivals. They have two options, one with pricing and one without. I'll customize the one without pricing. And then all you're going to do is complete three simple steps and you'll get your own link to your own Zoom catalog. So you're gonna start by naming your catalog. I'm just gonna put a fake name here. We highly recommend that you name your catalog using your company name. Oftentimes, or sometimes distributors put the supplier's name in there. And if you're trying to keep this white label, then we do highly recommend using your company name and not theirs because it's gonna become part of the URL. So I type in the catalog name and hit start. The next step is placing your logo. So you can see my logo is already here because it's in my profile. Yours will be here ready for you. And all you need to do is drag it into the position you want it and you can resize it as well. So we can drop that in where we think it looks best. You could also choose a different logo. Sometimes distributors will drop their customers logos on here or a logo with some additional information. And if you're really ambitious, you could upload an entirely new cover. So you could design that and upload it into the system. And then lastly, you're just gonna check your contact information. This information will pull from your profile, but you can edit it. So you can choose what, but, what email address is behind the email us button and make sure that the visit website link goes to your website. And then you can add anything else that you need here. You can even add a custom message. So, um, everything 10% off, whatever you want to put there, make it bold and format it. Once you're happy with your contact information, you'll hit save. And that's it. So you're naming your catalog, you're placing your logo and you're checking your contact information, and you're ready to go. So our system is going to take a few seconds here. But once it's done, I will have my own unique link that I can now use to promote my catalog and use it how I would like to. So I mentioned earlier that we have a lot of distributors that love using our catalogs in their social media campaigns, and many of them will use these customized catalogs for that purpose. So for example, if you went in here and found um, the new summer catalog from PCNA, that could create, you could create an entire campaign around that one single catalog. You could do a newsletter that features a couple of products that are found in the catalog and then have a button or a call to action at the bottom of that email that takes your customers into the catalog so they can browse it. Um, so I'm gonna quickly open this catalog up to show you what that looks like. So in that newsletter you sent out, you've promoted some items, but you've given them the opportunity to jump into a catalog where they can now browse all the other items that are available. And of course, as mentioned, you've customized it. So it's gonna have your logo on the cover and your contact information will be permanently stuck to the corner of it. Another really great use case for that, similar to the newsletter is again, the social media posts. So you could create a post highlighting certain items for the summer that you think would be really great. And then again, have a link out to your digital catalog so that your visitors or your followers can view the catalog and then contact you to place orders. Blog posts is another great one. We have some distributors who like to blog a lot and trying to find fresh content can be challenging. But with Zoom Catalog, you could do a fresh post with every catalog that comes out and highlight specific items or use cases or audience that's, audiences that they would work well for. So you have tons of content here to fulfill many different marketing cases as needed. 
So you can customize these catalogs and use them how you need. Um, this is the link you would actually take and put into those campaigns. Um, if you wanted to add it and link it to your site, you would use this link as well. So you can copy the link and then use it how you see fit. And then you can always come back to Zoom Catalog and jump over to your dashboard if you lost the link or if you wanted to update your contact information or place a logo. So you have reference to everything saved in your dashboard as needed. Now, in addition to being able to customize catalogs, we also have a library of thousands of flyers from suppliers. Suppliers are adding new flyers here every single day, and you can make any of these your own as well. So flyers are a little bit different from catalogs in that they have um, less pages, so they're generally one to four pages. They're usually focused more on a category or a specific product or potentially a seasonal event. So these are more targeted than a catalog that will likely cover a broad spectrum of products. So again, this is the type of content that could be really great for your email blasts, for posting on social media, or just sharing with a customer um, to help promote an item. So let me quickly customize a flyer and show you how that works. You'll start by finding the flyer you want. I sorted by latest, you can view randomly or by supplier. You can also search. So if you needed a specific category of flyer or a specific type of product um, in a flyer, you'll go ahead and search that. So then you'll look through here and find the one that you want to make your own. Say, for example, this one here from Ahead. You'll hit Customize, and it's going to take you into the editor. Now, it looks a little different than customizing a catalog, because with the flyer, you can drop logos, images, and text onto the page or pages wherever you like. So you can actually customize this quite a bit, not just adding your logo, but maybe your contact information or some pricing. Um, you could even use shapes to hide certain things. If there was pricing you didn't want on here, you could just put a little block over it and put some other messaging there. But you'll see here, um, you'll upload images, they'll save to your account, and then you can simply drop them in, place them where you think they look best. If there was more than one page, you would be able to scroll through them here. Maybe add a text box with your phone number or email address and whatever else you need. Then once you're done, You'll hit save and share. You'll give your flyer a name, hit save and continue, and that's it. So now I have my flyer and it's ready to go. The other really awesome thing with this is that you get the flyer in any format you may need. We always encourage distributors to share these as a link rather than a PDF if you do not need to share it as a PDF. So we, our industry seems to have this habit of sharing PDFs, um, whether it's catalogs or flyers, and it's just so much better to use a link. You're not requiring your customer to download a heavy PDF onto their computer. You don't have to deal with trying to attach it to an email or using some kind of file transfer program. Simply copy the link, send it over to them. They can click to open it no matter what device they're on, whether it's their phone or um, their computer or whatever that is. So we can quickly customize, share them, download as well. Um, if you use any email marketing tools like HubSpot, MailChimp, Constant Contact, you could plug these in there as well. So you can really use these flyers in a lot of different ways, but the main idea is that you don't have to worry about designing them from scratch. Your suppliers are creating these for you. They're doing the work and making beautiful marketing pieces so that all you really need to do is add your information and you're ready to go. So there's tons of flyers. You can come here, search, and find the ones you need. I'd also like to mention that we send out a weekly email on Thursday, every Thursday, to our distributors. And it summarizes all the new catalogs and flyers that have been av made available. It's a great resource to stay in the know with what's new, what suppliers are pro promoting, what new products they're launching. And if you're not getting that email, um, just shoot us, uh, shoot me, or shoot us an email at hello at zoomcatalog.com, and we'll send you the link to opt in. Uh, if you haven't signed up for an account with us yet, when you do, you'll also get an option there to opt into that email. So get on the list to get that email and you will always be able to know what new catalogs and flyers are available out there and then link directly from that email, jump into customizing and making them your own. All right, so just to quickly summarize what we covered so far, 
We have our Zoom catalog search engine. You're going to find all the supplier content, content here. We highly recommend bookmarking zoomcatalog.com so that in future, if you're ever wanting to find some ideas or get some great images or find a catalog, you'll know where to go. Um, if you want to customize these catalogs and flyers as your own, you can come over to the customize tab. You can customize as many as you like, as often as you like, and use them however you like as well. And then the last thing I want to mention is a new tool that we're building. We're not going to have too much time to cover it today, but I definitely want to mention it because it's very exciting. And that's our platform called Zoom Studio. So we are building a platform that allows distributors and supplier teams to create catalogs, flyers, lookbooks, and presentations with the products of their choice. Now, this is a new product that we're currently rolling out to suppliers. What that means is you'll be able to use Zoom Studio from specific supplier websites. So for example, you can go to PCNA.com and create the content from their site. You can go to Alpha Broder's website and use it from theirs, Sanmar, Hit, all the others. So I, I know the big question usually is from distributors, well, we want to mix and match the supplier catalogs. And that is something we will eventually have available for you to do on zoomcatalog.com. But currently today, if you want to make your own catalogs and lookbooks, you'll be able to do it from these individual suppliers to start. So to quickly show you how that works and how that looks, I'm going to jump over to the Zoom Studio from PCNA. And you'll be able to access this from their site. And once you're in here, you'll just log in and then I'll quickly show you how it works. If any of you are interested, we'll send a follow up email and we'll include a link to all the different suppliers that have Zoom Studio so you'll know where to go, depending on who you want to create from. So I'm logged in here. You have a couple options like templates to go to your designs and I'm going to go to make it quick to make a really quick lookbook. Now, again, we have technically have three minutes. I will do a few um, questions after this. We'll go a little over time, but if you want a more in depth look, reach out to us. So I'll name my design. You can upload your logo here in place of the PCNA logo. And then once you're in the tool, you'll see that I have a page and on top of the page, I have a layout. So this layout is four products and a logo. You can change your page layout. So I'm gonna switch mine to a cover page since I'm making a lookbook. And all you need to do is click on each block and add the content you need. Oops. In the image block, you can upload an image here. You can go to the shared library to have assets that the suppliers uploaded, or you can go to Unsplash to search for great images here. So you can search for keyword and find royalty free stock art that you can pop into your design. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a page and you can see when I add a page, I can choose a single page or a spread. So if I did a single page that would be more like a flyer or a presentation. But since I'm doing a lookbook, I'm going to add a spread, which is two pages side by side. I'm going to change the layout on the left hand side to something a little bit nicer. So maybe this two columns. So half uh, product, half image. I'm going to flip that around and turn off the logo. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to do one featured product. And again, just like the cover, I just click on the blocks and add the content. So for this image block, I'm going to, again, find a nice image here. Let's do sunglasses. We'll find one that we think will work best. And we're going to reposition that a little bit. And then these are product blocks. So what's going to happen here is it's going to launch the search modal. And I now can search for all the products available from PCNA and find the perfect products to put into my catalog. I can choose the color and then pop it in. And that will pull it through with all of the up-to-date relevant product details, such as product name, ID, pricing, and colors. So I've added my products and I can keep going. I can add as many spreads as I want. And I can also edit the product. So if I wanted to mark up pricing or switch out the product images, I can do that. You'll also notice that we have something called the sidebar here. So one of the challenges with these catalogs is that for every product, there's tons of other information that your customers may need, like what other colors it comes in, the description, the prices by quantity. So we wanted to introduce a way that a user could actually still see that information without cluttering up the page. 
So once I publish this, I'll show you what we've done, but we've made the product clickable so that whoever's viewing this can click on an item and see all that other product information. But you still have control over it, so you can turn off what you do and don't want to show up. So I, this is a really tiny catalog. I'm not going to finish it for the sake of time. We are at the half hour mark here, but I'm going to publish my design and share. And now I have my link. And this is the link I'll be able to share with my customers or use in my marketing, whatever I created this for. And whoever is browsing it will know that they can click on these items and view all the other additional product details. So I can see other product shots, the colors, the pricing, all of that good stuff. So you can build out these interactive shoppable catalogs from a number of suppliers in our industry who have already adopted Zoom Studio. At this time, you cannot mix and match across suppliers. We know that that's what everybody wants. So it is something we're working towards. However, you still can build amazing content. For example, if you go use this from Alpha Broder, you can mix and match the Primeline products with the Alpha Broder products since they have them all together. Um, PCNA is another one with a really great wide array, uh, array of products. So you can build a really robust catalog with their items. And then of course, some of the smaller guys have it too, like Peerless Umbrella. Um, you can check theirs out and build out some nice content there. So we'll send you a list of the studios if you're interested so you can start making this content. Um, but this program is something we're evolving. We're working on virtual samples so you can add them to the products and a lot more. So that's my really quick walkthrough of our third offering that we are working on today. Um, hopefully it wasn't too fast, but if you wanna get a deeper look, reach out to us. But since we are one minute over now, um, if you guys can type your questions into the chat box, I'll run through and get those answered. And then um, we'll follow up in an email with some links. Um, somebody asked if we'll do the webinar again because they missed it. We will be hosting again. We're going to actually do some other sessions on other topics. So we'll make sure that you're all included on upcoming sessions. We also recorded this one so we can send this to you as well. Um, but you can reach out to us at hello at zoomcatalog.com. Um, and for the person asking about that, we'll reach out to you directly as well with the email you signed up with to reach us. Um, somebody's asking how they can get the weekly email uh, with the new catalogs and flyers. We have a link for you to subscribe to that. So we'll again include that in our follow up and then you can just opt into it. We don't send a ton of emails, but you can always manage your preferences or unsubscribe as well. Um, but we like to believe that we send lots of, or the content we send is very helpful and can be used in lots of different ways. Um, somebody's asking if you'd ever be able to create flyers with multiple suppliers. We definitely do not get through a demo of studio without that question. So we know that that's what you guys want, um, something we're working towards. It's just right now we're working with individual suppliers to get their data and we'll bring it all together for you guys eventually. Um, somebody asked me to say the email. So it's hello, H-E-L-L-O at zoomcatalog.com. A couple people that are late or said they were a little late, we'll send the recording out so you can see the whole session. We're also happy to do any one-on-ones if needed. Um, if you have a team that would be interested in having us do a group demo, we'd be happy to do that too. So just let us know how we can help. All right, I think I'm through most of the questions here. Um, when you see our notifications for future sessions, we're not going to be repeating the exact same session each time. So definitely join us. We have lots of knowledge, some amazing people on our team with lots of things we can teach you um, on how to optimize your usage of Zoom catalog and our tools and um, what suppliers are doing with their content and how you can take advantage of that. So hopefully we'll see you again on some future webinars. Look out for our follow-up email and we hope to hear from you soon. Otherwise, jump onto zoomcatalog.com, bookmark it, and uh, hope you enjoy the tools and find them useful. Thanks, everybody.